Welcome back to Make Me a Fan. I'm the Jag. I'm Pete. And I have no idea what we're doing today. The encyclopedia has set up something diabolical. Something that I believe is entertaining. It should be entertaining, guys. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, is we're going to show Jag a Chris Statlander match. Okay. Now, I've heard this name. Didn't I see her once? Yeah, you saw her at GCW. Okay. Or not at GCW, uh, but we, we've been talking about her. We've seen her everywhere. She okay. is everywhere. She was, just she... On, she was just on AEW. That's probably what we're getting confused with. Two okay. weeks in a row, she's been on AEW, both on Dark and on the main show this okay. week. Okay. Now, isn't she going to be at Bar? Uh, she is going to be at Bar. All right. Well, now I get to see someone even before they come to Bar. That's kind of different. Normally, I see her, then you show me something awesome. Right. But now I get to see it first, and then we get to see the awesomeness live and in living color. So, if you're a Chris Statlander, yep. Statlander fan, then I guess we'll see if, if she, you're... She's the galaxy's greatest alien. The galaxy's greatest alien. So we have Hell's favorite harlot. Mm -hmm. Now we have the galaxy's greatest alien. alien. Yes. Okay, please give me Pete's points on Chris Statlander so I know exactly what the hell I'm looking at. Absolutely. So she has been wrestling for about three years right now. All right. She went to Create a Pro in New York. So that's Pat Buck. Okay. And uh, we like that. And Kurt Hawkins is okay. the other person that runs uh, that Wait, run that runs Create a Pro. B team status, uh, pretty much. So it's the B team wrestling school. <laughs> but hey, that's the same school that produced MJF. So there, there, there is nothing B about their school. Hell no, I'm not hating. That's the name of their team. Indeed, isn't that indeed. their team? It is the B team. No, that's, no, that's, Bo, that's, Dallas. that's Bo Dallas. I and, completely botched that. I am so sorry. What is their team name? He, they it's have a it's team with name? him and Zack Ryder. Well, I know, but do they have a team I name? I don't know. I don't watch Raw. I'm sorry, guys. And I love Raw, but I just... But Pat Buck is also now a backstage agent. Okay. Who also is the teacher at Creative Pro. So him and Kurt Hawkins run okay. Creative Pro. So please believe, I was not trying to hate by calling oh. them B-team. I just mixed up... Uh, Bo, da Bo Dallas and... Bo Dallas and... Dallas and, 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 uh, and, uh, and then And uh, It doesn't matter what his name is. So we have Creative Pro. We have Pat Buck, you said. Yeah. Hawkins and Ryder. Yeah, he's producing, and then yeah, you got Hawkins, who's the other half of the school. So she's a veteran of that school. school. Is that like the East Coast Santino brothers? Uh, I would definitely say so. All right, I'll take it. I mean, MJF, Chris Statlander. We could go on and on on all the names of the people that are coming out of Creative Pro, but they put on great shows. I will take your word for it. However, I don't know anything about Chris Statlander. Is there anything I should be looking for, moves wise or or ability wise or background wise? She's is she just like an Olympic she's... gymnast or something crazy? Uh, gymnast is probably fairly accurate. Okay, look at and, that. Hey, you know, it's rubbing off. Hey, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm getting a little bit of encyclopedic from osmosis, through the osmosis. Thank you, thank you. The closer I sit to you. <laughs> so good, so good. The more shit I learn. <laughs> All right, so who's she wrestling? Uh, she's going to be wrestling the bad boy himself, Joey Janela. Joey Janela, we got another intergender match. All right, so. And, uh, might I say, I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but this is going to be a fantastic match. Okay, I, I don't believe you wanted to show. You kept this a secret for no reason. I believe it's got to be golden. I believe it's going to be awesome. However, I have to admit to the people at home, the Jag has never seen a Joey Janela match. That's the other reason I was doing this. I apologize. Does, does, does this, so if this goes well, does this count as two points? I would give you two points for this if it goes well. <laughs> if it goes well. Now, I will say this. I did try White Claw, and it was freaking disgusting. So, Joey Janela's already got a little bit of a weird standing with the Jag, because the man drinks him like he's drinking water. He drinks him like Michael Jordan drank Gatorade. I don't know, but this is weird to me because I don't know anything about either of these people. So, I am now about to be a captive audience for Chris Statlander and, and Joey Janela. All right, let's see if the encyclopedia can make me a fan. A bowl. A bowl. <laughs> We're like eight minutes into this match, and I'm talking a lot of trash, so the encyclopedia had to pause the match to give me a chance to give a little bit of feedback. First and foremost, this is my first foray into Beyond Wrestling. What do you think of this building? So this is the Electric Hayes building. Okay. Uh, this is obviously a smaller venue. Okay, all right. Um, and eventually we'll show you some stuff from the White Eagle Hall, which if you guys aren't watching, definitely check out uh, IWTV.live. Use promo code FAN for 20 free days from yes, us. Yes, We're do. giving you 20 free days. You damn right we are. I mean, the code may not work, but we're gonna still keep telling <laughs> it because guess what? We want our code to work. One of these days it's gonna turn on and it'll be fan freaking tastic. But uh, this is every Thursday. Okay. This is this is pretty solid, just from what you saw, because you're like, hey, oh, I, sure. I, I kind of I kind of like the way these guys. I like the, the banter back and forth. Every Thursday they do this. Every Thursday, right. 5 p.m. on the West Coast. All right. So here's the question. Oh wait, there's yeah. a slither shirt. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right. So first 
first first impression. The Jag has to give a shout out to Mr. Rich Paladino. Paladino, who is the ring announcer. Homeboy is prolific and gifted. He's got a great voice. And more importantly, he has a fantastic freaking look. He came out in a full-blown tuxedo. If you remember way back in the day, we went to a live event. We will not talk trash about who it was, but the guy did not look like a million bucks when he came out to the ring. Personally, the Jag thinks if you're going to be the ring announcer, you have to look like money. And Mr. Rich Paladino most definitely looks like money. So, two thumbs up for the ring announcer, and he sets the tone for the whole freaking thing. So as soon as the video comes on, and he's standing in the ring, and he's in a full-blown tuxedo, I'm like... He's the he's the voice of the Northeast. He is is fantastic. I mean, the, this this guy like if I was if I was starting a promotion in the East Coast, I would definitely have I would definitely have Rich Paladino as my ring announcer. He seems fantastic. The first time seeing him, I'm a fan. Um, next thing is Joey comes out to what song did he come out to? Uh, it's his own theme song, but okay. it, it's just it's just that really cool. Um, I mean, it's, it's Joey's it's Joey's song. That's the only way I know how to describe it. Joey's theme. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So, but then Chris Statlander comes out to the Bee Gees. She comes out to more than a woman, which speaks to the Jags, Yacht Rock, Easy Listening, Coast 103.5, Love and Heart. So I appreciated the Bee Gees. It is so underrated, the Bee Gees nowadays. So Chris Statlander, you earned a point right there. Um, just, uh, just a side note, Pete's point on her themes. Uh, she also did Katy Perry's Firework Forever. As, okay. Uh, so she used Katy Perry coming to the ring for a while, and that was always... Uh, Katy Perry is legit. Uh, it, it, it makes me very happy. Firework is a bomb song. Uh, so be. like, like when I think of that song now, I think of Chris Statlander coming to the ring. I said bomb like it was 2014. <laughs> Holy okay. crap. I'm, I'm still, sorry, I'm America. I'm not cool. I'm a dad, and I'm 40. So, okay. On to the next thing. I didn't quite understand Joey Janela's story, okay? I've heard that he was a king of the death matches, you know? Mr. Garda, Garda 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 Dressler, Garda. Outlaw Mud Show. Yeah, but he's scum, doing scum great. Of the earth, scum of the earth. I thought he was going to be craptastic, honestly. I thought, okay, I mean, I'm constantly proven wrong when we do this. But I didn't know what to expect. And I came in with an open mind. But es I thought, Especially that, you know, it's the jelly Janella, jelly Nutella. Yeah. Them, them making fun of him for being a little soft. Well, there was nothing soft happening in the, in the first... All I knew about Joey Janela was staple gun to the forehead, white claw, and some big ass goggles. I don't know what's going on, but the guy's really solid in the ring. I mean, as we pause it, he's got an amazing hold. The guy knows what he's doing in the ring. Um, I don't know what else to say about his skills. I think he looks really talented. Absolutely. So what about Chris Statlander, the, the world's greatest alien? World's greatest alien. Gal I'm, Galaxy's greatest alien. I am unsold on the gimmick encyclopedia. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about this alien thing, but she is amazing so far. She's doing great. Um, I feel like the intensity could be up a notch, but as the announcers just said, they're kind of feeling each other out at this point. And speaking of the freaking announcers, okay, now the Jag is a huge critic of commentary, okay? Of course. And so far, I am impressed I am most definitely a fan of the commentary team, which you said is... It's Paul Crockett and Sidney Bacavelli. Both those guys are awesome. I'm sure they don't have to hear it from me because they have people on the East Coast and all over the world uh, watching uh, their uh, show. Uh, you know, there, there's people almost to, you know, two commas mm. every Thursday night listening to these guys all uh, right. call wrestling. So they're, they're, they're doing something right. They are definitely doing something right. So if you are a fan of Beyond Wrestling, you most likely are a fan of Sidney and Paul. So... So far, so good. I think it's pretty cool. The vibe makes me think a little bit like bar wrestling. The vibe feels kind of informal and everybody Yeah, and this is the Electric the Haze building. I think there's probably, they got maybe about 100 or 150 people. Okay. Uh, maybe that number's even lower than it. might be like 50 or 60. Uh, the new the new building that they're at, the White Eagle Hall in Worcester, it it, it's, more... uh, I mean, it looks like bar. Okay. It, it looks exactly like just an East Coast version of bar. Okay, very cool. Now, I don't know what's happening with the refs. The refs shirt? Oh yeah, they're, they're uh, gray. Yeah, that looks a little weird. I, that's just, I think we're so used to seeing stripes. I am used to seeing stripes. That's almost unless like it's WCW where they're wearing the blue, Blues, you know? Yeah. This is weird. I didn't know that was the ref at first. I'm like, who's that guy? <laughs> He's the ref. So that's the only weird thing so far. I'm enjoying it, and I'm, I'm, I can't say I'm a fan yet, but I am... You're leading that cautiously, we're, we're cautiously optimistic. I'm waiting to see where the alien thing comes into play. To be honest, I think I think uh, they're about to uh, turn the heat up a little bit. Okay. I, I think I think it's about to get started. I'm thinking she's gonna have like some kind of finisher called the flying saucer or the freaking uh, oh, going yeah, home like, or something. Yeah, I don't like, know. Like, I don't know. Maybe the Area 451. Oh, ooh, Area 451. Dang! All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to. 
You know how to dangle the carrot. All I mean, right. It's not. It's not that I'm going to say it's a shooting star press. Oh, it's not but, a shooting star. It's not a shooting star press. Which but I would a, love to see. I would love to see her do that. Yes, but, uh, but in Area 451. In Area 451, I'll take it. All right. I have to give a shout out to our special guest star. He's not going to make it on camera today because we can't afford to pay him. His rate is super high. But there is right off this camera. There is a dog, and he is amazing. So if you wonder what the hell Encyclopedia is doing with his right hand, he is not tickling anyone pink. He is petting the dog. So. <laughs> Uh, we will let him on the show maybe in the future if we can afford his royalties. <laughs> of course. All right, so on with the match. We'll see if this Area 451 is going to really uh, make me a fan. Uh, Apparently, we found some money because a new co star is on the set. This is yeah. Jax. This is Jax. And he's at gonna... Jax Pup on Twitter. Oh, really? He has his oh, own oh, Twitter? Oh, he's had his Twitter account for years. At, but Jax, I, Pup. at, at Jax Pup. Yeah. He's yeah. in it to win it. This is our new co star. You should definitely follow him. Um, <laughs> I know he never tweets, but he, he, he might. <laughs> but anyways, so w w we got to this point where uh, Janela just delivered this amazing, uh, you know, shoulder breaker. Dude, allow me to cut you off for just a second. The Jag wants to respect the encyclopedia. However, I'm checking out Statlander. Statlander has done some crazy back bends, some crazy reversals, a couple of leg some, sweeps, some centons, some, centons some, some 360, you know, flipping stuff. And also just some hardcore, like almost what's a Falcon Arrow and some other stuff. She's putting in work. And Joey Janela's putting in work too. If you had told me this was, you know, some other wrestler named Bob Johnson, I'm like, okay, Bob Johnson's got skills. But I thought of Joey Janela as Outlaw Mud Show garbage wrestler. Garbage wrestler, deathmatch, you know, warrior who's gonna yeah. eat light tubes for breakfast, right? Or staple guns, whatever. But Homeboy's doing great. They're having a great match, and it's back and forth, and it seems like we're getting toward the end. And she just took a mean bump right off the ring apron. I thought he was gonna hit her to the ground. I was gonna say, holy mother of pearl. But he yeah, got no, on the ring was, apron. Yeah, it was like shoulder breaker and then like back to the apron. Yes. It just it was it was brutal. It was awesome. And I think this is great. So, I mean, we're talking during the break or during the whatever while we're watching it that Statlander is going to be headed to uh, Florida. Yeah, she uh, might be reporting sooner than later. Which is fan-freaking-tastic because we need more talented women in the WWE. Not that there's a shortage, but there's always room for more. It's like Jello. Absolutely. There's always room for more talented athletes in the E. Um, of course, I don't know how she sounds on the microphone, but that might be one of the big distinguishing factors on whether she hits that next level compared to all the rest of the people down in Florida. So, I think this is a great match. So far, I'm definitely a fan of Chris Statlander. I am most definitely a fan of Mr. Joey Janela. Um, you know, I'm not a big deathmatch guy, but now I don't have to, I don't consider yeah, him a deathmatch guy. Yeah, exactly. There, there is a lot more to this. And then, like I said, uh, eventually I'm going to get you into the David Starr stuff. So, like, we've been hearing him talk about David Starr. Yeah. This is going to go into American Rana. We might actually do, like, a review where we sit down and watch, like, all of American Rana because we've never okay. sat down and watched a pay per view together. No, I watched and, and then, yeah. and, But to do that, and, like, you'll actually see the, the feud. This okay. has been going on for, like, three and a half years between him and wow, David Starr. Really? The last year's American Rana. Okay was a no-rope barbed wire match wow. between Joey and David Starr. And Damn. it's it's brutal, but if you understood the buildup and they actually do a clip package that okay. shows how much how much is between them that it had to end in a no rope barbed wire match. Okay. I mean but, you but, know how but, I but, felt but, at GCW. I, was I like, understand Ugh. that, but imagine that it's still not settled. So now they're gonna do a 16 minute Iron Man match at wow. American Rana. And when is they, that? Uh, it, it, it was this past July. Okay, so it's already happened. So it's happened, so yeah. we'll be able to watch it. Okay. It's a 60 minute Iron Man match. I am telling you, it's insane. There's one spot okay. that there's gonna be, it's gonna be so crazy. Okay. I mean, like, you're, it, it's fantastic. Like, when you get excited like this, it makes me nervous. Oh, it's, it's, it's worth it, it. it. Oh, it's phenomenal. All right. Let's just say that they use it in wrapper packages on IWTV. Really? That, that, it's, okay. That, that, that's that good. Hashtag trust the encyclopedia because he knows what Picante sauce should taste like. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to independent wrestling. You are easing me down the road of other things outside the E. This is next level. I didn't know beyond from behind, you know, what, two months ago. So this is different. Oh, yeah. No, I've only been on this for about a year now. Really? I love Beyond. Beyond right. is my favorite weekly stuff, Beyond now, Bar. It's been a while since we've done a match review like yeah. this. We've been doing a lot of live events, Bar, GCW, mm -hmm. Maverick, uh, Rogue just a couple nights ago. So we've been doing a lot of live stuff. We haven't just sat down and watched wrestling in a while. So this is cool. To and get back into it. I'm getting in, I'm exposed to new talent and people that I didn't know or people that I thought I knew who turns out I don't really know. Plus, we got a new co star. So exactly. that's always cool. So is this almost the end? Are we close? We're to getting it? super close to the end. So All I right. think we'll finish this up, guys, and we'll come back and we'll uh, kind of put a bow on it. You heard what he said. We'll see you in a minute. You go right ahead, sir. 
Well, here we are. We're here at the end. What'd you think of this? Okay, first and foremost, Joey Janela is the freaking man, all right? I didn't know anything about him. I even asked you, what's his finisher? And then next you know, he does the package the pile spinning driver. package pile driver. This spinning th package pile driver. People, if you've not seen this finisher, get your ass on right now. This IWTV.live. This is episode 11 from season one of Beyond Wrestling, about an hour and 40 minutes in. What he said, because that looked great. If you told me a package pile driver, I'd have said, yeah, yeah, whatever. This looked like a million bucks. The Jack said it, 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 it looked like he killed her. It did. It did. And she kicked out. Then he put her ass through a door and she kicked out. <laughs> then she put him through a door and he, didn't, he kicked out. I didn't know how this thing was going to end. I thought, okay, he's going to get a chair. The room was electric, though. Yes, the room was excited. The people were hyped. I was hyped. I was over here cheering like my freaking eight-year-old the other night. I'm like, yeah. So it totally sucked me in. This was an excellent freaking match. Joey Janela has earned my respect. Chris Statlander. I still don't quite understand the alien gimmick. I understand It'll get better things. with time, and especially as you watch more matches. And the other thing is, is remember... She's about two, two and a half years in. Okay. So she's, she's still figuring this out as all well. All right, all right. I get it. She does things differently. Some things she does don't make a whole lot of sense to the Jag, like the handstand leg drop instead of a regular leg drop, using more energy, taking more time. But she's different. She's an alien. Okay. But she earned my respect in this match, hands down. I give her a high five, a hug, and a handshake. She freaking killed it. And... I mean, two doors, multiple finishers, multiple false finishes. This was great. Like, honestly, these guys who paid to get into this tiny little hole in the wall bar. Like 10 bucks. 10, they, 10 or 15 bucks to see the show. That was awesome. And it was money well spent. If you have IWTV.live and you're paying 10 bucks a month, that is also money well spent because this was a hell of a match. How long ago was this? This was uh, like June of so this the, year. This of this was, year? Yeah, of this wow, year. okay. Just right before the AW when they went exclusive and everything. This was Joey's run up uh, to the end. Kind of him... Okay. Of, uh, I guess putting a bow kind of on his David Starr thing. All right. So this was fantastic. Like Pete, you earned my. You, you, you made me a fan. Family. You get another point. You get two points for Joey and for Chris. I so think it's like eleven to zero now. This is getting scary. You know, it's almost like the Harlem Globetrotters versus the, the, the Generals. <laughs> You're gonna win every time because you have good taste and you have encyclopedic knowledge. But I, however, am a hater. I hate on a lot of things, especially things I don't quite understand. I didn't understand Joey Janela. I didn't hate, but just, I just yeah. wasn't all that interested. Yeah. But now, hell, I'm interested. You exactly. Know? And as you say, I think we're going to maybe watch American Rana at some point and give you guys just a total recap. We'll sure. probably do it super quick. But uh, you'll see him against David Starr. You'll also see Chris Dickinson, who you've seen wrestle. You'll oh, see yes. Statlander on there. You're going to see Johnny Mundo, Johnny Nitro, oh, Johnny yeah. whatever his name is. Uh, super just cool. A, a, amazing. It, like, it's a super stat card. It's their version of WrestleMania. You want to hear something weird? We'll tell the people off camera. Maybe we'll talk about it in the Rogue video because I had a little interaction with Johnny Mundo at Rogue Wrestling. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, this is a fantastic match. I think she's great. Um, obviously, hearing her story is the, the commentators who are doing a fantastic job talking about how she was one of two people to get through the school at what's it called? Uh, Creative Pro. Creative the, Pro. The women that have completed the program. One of two women that have completed the program because. Pat Buck is his name, mm -hmm. only allows the people to graduate when they go through all the steps, and she's one of two women in history to get through all the steps. He said she was one of five people, or uh, Pat Buck said she's one of the top five to ever graduate. This girl, this woman, has talent for days. So, I appreciated it. I enjoyed the hell out of it. So, ima so ima imagine that the other person, so, uh -huh. so I don't know who the other three are. Okay. The, other, the second person is MJF. Oh, really? So, so you're talking about MJF and Chris Statlander are in that top five that he's talking about. Two people okay. that are huge on TV right now. All right. Well, I'll take it. That's pretty That's pretty good praise. Look, this is a fantastic match. I, I've never watched IWTV before. I mean, I think through you I've watched it. Mm. This is fantastic. Beyond, you keep telling me about it. This looks legit. I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. So two I, points for the encyclopedia. Awesome. Well, I was going to say, I think uh, we're going to have maybe another video to watch after this, and we'll see if we can continue the streak, because I'm feeling at some point I'm, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to come too hard. And I keep giving up on, 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 you know, the encyclopedia. I keep thinking I'm, he's going to show me something and I'm going to hate it, well, but you I, keep yeah. winning. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe at some point I might uh, so, show you some crazy deathmatch stuff, but even, oh. then, I just, I, I, even then... That, that's, a, that's a quick path to, to an L, okay? That's like eastbound on the L05. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to do that because that's not a big fan. But, hey, if it's really that good, I will watch it and I will give you my <laughs> honest opinion as I did today. And, honestly, Joey Janela and Chris Datlander are freaking awesome. And if you haven't seen this match, get your butt to IWTV.live. Go to, what is it called? It's number Uncharted one. Territories, Season 1, Episode 11. Episode 11 and watch this match because it's freaking fantastic. So, Pete, now that you have earned two more points... You have two more W's. Westside. 
Tell the people where they can find us for the next video. So you can follow us on every social media platform at Make Me a Fan 316. That's Absolutely. on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Absolutely. And if you like this video, which of course I said it earlier, we're doing more recaps lately, but we also want to do these match reviews. Make sure you bionic elbow that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Ring that bell so you get alerts and you know whenever it goes live. Yeah, we can point, we can do this. And make sure that you like this video. And if you have any comments whatsoever, comment down below. Absolutely, you join can, the conversation. You can even leave a comment for Jax, our new co-star. As you say, if you want to say hi to Jax. Yeah. In the comments below. He'll read them, I promise. <laughs> All, All right. right, guys. Until next See you time. next time. Later.